You are watching and unfortunately hearing Kabioki, which is a marketing initiative by Telstra designed to change the company's stuffy image. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. According to Telstra, Kabioki will make people take another look at its brand and change their perceptions of it and cast it in a contemporary and more dynamic light. The crunch interprets this corporate speak to mean that your money is no longer good enough. From now onwards, Telstra wants you to suffer and feel actual pain. It's not just Telstra assaulting its customers' ears. The crunch has proof that companies including Intel, Symantec and Motorola are guilty of exactly the same crime. Good evening, IIAs. How are you having fun tonight? Yes, a resounding yes. Well done. We're the big kahuna. We hope you enjoy yourself. Feel free to come and dance on this beautiful floor. At the Internet Industry Association dinner last week, entertainment, and I use the term loosely, was provided by a band made up of high-ranking techie execs and fronted by Phil Cronin, the general manager of Intel's Asia-Pacific operation. Now, I'm not saying Big Kahuna were good, because they weren't. However, Compared to the Kabioki lot, these guys might well become the next Bjorn again. Telstra. The crunch wants to lay down the gauntlet. If you really want to be cool, then stop poking fun at drunk people and get David Thody to join a rock band. If your CEO does a live gig and lets us film it, we pledge that instead of referring to Telstra in our stories as the incumbent telco, we will call it the coolest telco in Australia. Balls in your court, Telstra.